All right, in this video, we want to show you how to um, fix a laptop that may be overheating. Um, and a couple things could be causing that. And what we'll do is we'll start out with the easiest solution. Um, what you're going to need to first get is a, um, a duster. And pretty much what this does is it blows cold air, um, non-liquid, into electronic components. And you could find these at Walmart, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, Home Depot. Usually about six bucks. So, you want to get you a duster. You also want to use your vacuum cleaner with a, a bristle in. Something like this. And that should be about it. However, we have a third step and we'll go over that after you try the first two steps. Um, First of all, most laptops have a, uh, an air vent going in and out, and so usually the air will go in to cool the computer down, um, will go th through the bottom, and usually go through the side. And so basically it goes in a flow direction, and then the fan is spinning. So what we're going to do is, is, first thing you want to do is, if your computer's overheating, it's turning hot, what have you, now this is just for the laptop itself. If it's your power cord that's overheating, then you might want to think about just uh, you know getting a new power cord because that's a completely different issue. Um, but if you're if you notice that your computer is really overheating on the bottom, it gets hot on your lap. Um, what you're going to want to do is um, test out and see if the fan is working. Okay, so what you want to do. Is you want to blow in like that. And then you're going to go on this side. And so what that's going to do, it's going to knock down any dust or anything that's got in there. And you're going to finish it off with a vacuum cleaner and pick up any dust that it knocked out. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn it back on and then you're going to test and see if it's powering off again. Um, if it is powering off uh, and the fan's still working, then it's an issue with um, the motherboard. If the fan, and when you turn it on and it's not spinning, um, and of course you can put your ear up to it as well to see if you hear it spinning or physically see it. If it's not, uh, remember they intermittently come on and come off. Um, but if you turn it on and it it starts getting hot and it's not the fan's not coming on at all, then the fan's broken. Um, but if the fan is working, you can get you a chiller, and I'll show you a picture here. You can get them at Best Buy or you can get them online for as low as 15, 20 bucks. And what a chiller is, it's a tray with, with, with fans, and you set it on there, on the chiller, and then you hook up your USB port to it, um, and then the air will come up into the into the um, into the vents, and that'll cool it down. So you can buy you a chiller if you know your fan's working and it's still overheating, um, but if the fan's not working, you can replace replace the fan. And believe it or not, it's not as difficult as it looks. You know, you can get the fan. Uh, I purchased this one for this. And this particular one is a Dell Inspiron. I don't have the model number here. N5010. And you can get you, uh, an in, you know, you can get a fan for as low as three, four bucks. Um, five bucks. And they're not very complicated to connect once you get the computer disassembled. You know, it's not like you have to solder it on or anything. It literally, it's just a plug-in that you replace. So, I'll go. You show you. Go ahead and show you real quick 
how to replace a fan. What you're going to do is you're going to, to first you're going to unscrew everything, take the battery out, take the DVD out, and you're going to unscrew all these screws. Take them all out and take the keyboard out and then unscrew all the screws underneath the keyboard. Take the ribbon out and what's going to happen is this palm rest is going to pop off. And when the palm rest is pop off, popped off, it's going to expose the fan where you can replace it. So let's go ahead and do that now. I went ahead and removed a lot of the screws already.
don't know if you can hear that, but the fan's working perfectly. <laughs> 